guys so um i wanted to come on and do a cloth nappy video i have just sold all the nappies that i'm about to show you on instagram and i really wanted to do a video on how to use them before they kind of go off to their different owners i have done quite a lot of videos on these they're a little bit dated though but i will leave them down below in the description but any of the videos that are relevant to this i will leave down below so the first type of nappy system are flat nappies and flat nappies are they can be anything from a muslin cloth and muslins you can use with newborns up until about sort of eight weeks. They're really good, they're incredibly cheap and they're pretty bomb proof as well. Um, you can also use flower sack towels. Um, I don't actually know anyone that's done that but um, I certainly know people that have used muslins. Or the next option are pre-folds. So this is a pre-fold nappy and it's basically different layers of cotton all laid on top of each other and stitched and kind of stitched down here to kind of make it easier for you to fold, to try fold into a pad. Um, the most common type of way to fold this nappy is called an angel fold. And this is the angel fold here. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube. I'll leave links down below. And this is um, an amazing way to newborn, to cloth newborns. Newborns typically have really explosive poo and these catch everything. On top of this, to make it waterproof, you will need a wrap. This is a Bambino Mio wrap and it's particularly good because it has a double gusset so kind of any poo will be caught in this one and with the extra gusset it just gives you that bit of extra kind of um, safety net really. So then you would go ahead and put your wrap on top of your nappy like so. Now the great thing about these as well is that if there's no poo on the wrap all you have to do is wipe the wrap down so when you change the nappy you take the wrap off take this nappy off, put it in your wet bag, and then you can keep this wrap, put a new pre-fold on and use this wrap on top. If you do get poo on there, use a new wrap. So if you're out and about and you need, you know, make sure you take two wraps with you. Another thing that you can use, if you didn't want to use the um, snappy that I've just showed you this, if you've got a particularly chubby child, then you can use these which are boy and goes, and they just fasten at the sides, so they give you a little bit more room around the belly. In terms of lining these, um, with newborn poo, all the poo can go straight in the washing machine, and you can actually do this with formula. There's a huge debate out there, but you can actually do this with formula poo. I have done it myself, as long as you wash at 60 degrees, and it doesn't leave any residue or anything in your washing machine. And I've spoken to nappy consultants about this, and they've also agreed. There's a huge, there's like a bit, it's like a big debate, but I really don't, it's not an issue. Um, you can put formula fed poo in the washing machine, provided they're not weaning and it's fine, but certainly breastfed poo. So the whole thing can just go in the washing machine. But um, what you would ideally want to do is use something like, these are big kind of fleece liners, and you wanna really, if you can, line your nappy. And the reason I suggest this with fleece is to keep it stay dry. Fleece is very stay dry, and it will also protect your nappies from staining. At this age, you don't need to worry about catching and throwing away poo but it will at least um, keep your baby dry and prevent any rashes and things like that. So that's a newborn size one um, pre-fold. Pre-folds tend to come in three different sizes. The typical sizes are size one and two and if you have a big toddler then there is size three. This is size one newborn that I'm holding the white one and this is a size two. So our size two typically goes up to sort of about 16 kilos. And um, Sebastian's quite a skinny three-year-old. We used these size two right up until Sebastian was about two and a half. And we did still use the angel fold. We didn't have too many issues using that with him. I found that it was just so absorbent, much more slim fitting and just worked really well for us. But again, at that age, you might want to go ahead and just try folding it if, if that's what you prefer. Another great thing that you can use these um, as is to stuff your pocket nappies, which is a nappy system I'll go on to, but you can use them as, um, you know, inserts for pocket nappies. You can use them as dust cloths. They make really good dust cloths, wiping things down. Um, but cloths, they, they are really good. Great variety of, you know, really, really good. There's so many different types of prefolds as well. Those are the typical ones. They, they are by Bambino Mio. Very typical um, prefolds. If you're in the United States, there's a great brand called um, Green Mountain Diapers, I think they're called. And they're really, really good. But you can't really get them here in the UK, which is a real shame. But Thirsties you can. And these are Thirsties Hemp Duos. The, the material is hemp. Hemp is an incredibly absorbent material along with bamboo and of course cotton. Um, and there's another one called Zorb, but I've never used Zorb before. But these are hemp and they are two ply. So as you can see, um, they're two pieces laid on top of each other and they are 
ridiculously thirsty. So you would fold these up in the same way as you would a normal um, pre-fold or you can um, again tri-fold it and these are actually quite slim as well which is really nice. I do struggle with these kind of more cotton soft fabrics to put a snappy on. I just find that the snapper doesn't grip that well but again tri-folding is, is fine to do also. Bum Genius Flip, the brand Bum Genius also do pre-folds. Um, they do their own kind of versions. There's loads of different fibers. They've got, I think organic inserts or something they call them. But this is the organic nighttime insert and you could maybe do an angel fold with this, I don't know, but the design, it's got this sort of stitching along to, it's designed to show you where to fold it and again you'd fold it in like a pad there. Again with these you really want any kind of fabric that's cotton or natural fabric where the baby's skin is on them. You really want to be putting a fleece liner down, not just to catch any poo, but but also to keep the baby stay dry and um, I will go on and talk about those in a minute. Again you can get different types of wraps, the Bambino Mia wraps are by far my favourite. Um, Bambino Mia wraps are actually sized so you get size 1, size 2, you may be able to get size 3 but to be honest the size 2 are large enough that they should be fine um, for bigger children but um, size 1's I found fit Sebastian or fit Albert even right up until maybe about about eight or nine months and then I decided to switch over to the the next size up and I really like them because they've got this double gusset not all nappy systems have that since I lost the footage for this nappy this is called a shaped nappy so this is a bit like a pre-fold um, in that it's got its, it's the whole thing is the absorbency but it is shaped so it's in the shape of a nappy so there's no kind of folding or, or any of that and you literally just put it on your baby and you fasten it with the snappy the same as you do a pre-fold and again these come in two sizes so size one and size two you probably can get a size three um, and they also do make some brands birth to potty this brand is called diddy diaper and this is actually what we're all we're using at the moment and um, we just really like them it's cotton inside or at least this one is you're going to want to line this with maybe just some fleece or something just to make sure that your baby um, is stay dry but we love these they're very quick and simple to use and again being a two-part system you've got that wrap on top so it's just going to be completely bomb proof um, and very very quick and easy to dry you can just bung these all in the tumble dryer and you don't have to worry about them getting ruined. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned as well that any nappy like this that's fabric, cotton, bamboo, fleece, anything and it doesn't have any waterproof absorbency, if you buy it from brand new you're going to need to prep them and I'll leave a link down below how to do that. Basically all you're going to need to do is either leave them out in the rain or soak them overnight in a bath or, or put, run them through the washing machine about three or four times. Basically you want loads of water to get into them to build up their absorbency. So that's all you need to do with these um, kind of fabric ones and once you've done that you know you're ready to go. If you bought it pre-loved then again you won't need to prep it you just need to wash it before you use it. So the next type of nappy system I'm going to talk to you about are pocket nappies and these are literally where it's uh, everything this is kind of like a modern nappy, I guess you'd call it. So this is a pocket nappy. It's a birth to potty pocket nappy. And depending on what your brand is or depending on where you're buying, you can either get a fitted one so it's or a sized one, so size one, two or three, or you, which is more expensive if you do it unless you find a system that you love. Or birth to potty like this one, which basically you snap these down to make them really small so that it's like newborn size right up until potty size. It's quite large. Sebastian actually never got to this size. He always stayed at sort of the second rise setting out, but it's a little bit fatter. So I'm finding that it's, it doesn't just depend on weight. It depends very much on their shape as well. So basically with a, um, a pocket nappy, you just have the PUL outside, polyupper laminates or something, polyutherane laminate, whatever it is, the waterproof bit outside, which is this. You have your fastening at the top. Um, this is Aplex, um, which is quite handy, but I will say that once baby gets a bit old enough, they start undoing them. So you might want to get poppers at that stage. We did, definitely. This is a laundry tab, so you, when you're washing them, you just stick it there so that it doesn't kind of, other stuff doesn't stick to it. And then it has its pocket. And this bit here, as you can see, is fleece for the reasons of keeping your baby stay dry. 
Now there's different types of absorbencies that you can get. The most common type of absorbency is microfiber and bamboo. Now microfiber is a man-made fabric. It's really good in that it's like a sponge. It will soak everything up, wicks out a lot. So like a sponge, you can soak a lot up, you squeeze it and it wicks out moisture, which is why you would want then a bamboo booster underneath. Um, I actually ditched microfiber a long time ago. After a while, I just found it would cause stinks and smells and I just didn't really get on with it very well at all. So that's kind of exactly how you would have it. If you have a really heavy wetter, you might want to sort of fold it kind of like so. Now just remember that boys tend to wee at the front and girls wee more at the back. If this is the front of your baby in the back, you might want to double O more at the front like so for a boy and vice versa for a girl at the back. When you stuff your nappies, um, make sure that you put the um, microfiber, uh, sorry, have it on top. So that's the bit that's closest to your baby, if that's what you choose to do, to use. Like I said, I don't use um, any microfiber. We just use two bamboo boosters if, or a prefold if we are stuffing our nappies. And that's basically it. Again, I will leave links in the description bar on getting a good fit when using these. So you wanna make sure you get a good fit, otherwise you could get leaks. Another thing about cloth nappies is what works with one baby may not work with another. So a lot of these that I'm selling just didn't work with Albert. Um, this one doesn't seem to work with, these kind of pockets don't work very well with Albert. He's much chubbier baby and he's just got a lot of rolls and I don't know, he, and he's a heavy wetter. It just, they just didn't work for us, but they worked fine for Sebastian. So um, it just depends. That's the great thing. I'm selling pretty much the whole bundle apart from a few to one person and she will be able to try a variety of different things, a bit like you would a library, and see what works for her baby, and, and that's great. It's great to buy them secondhand. If it doesn't work out, you can then sell them on to other people who might wanna try them. I think sharing the love of cloth is great. Sharing cloth like that is great because, um, you know, it's, it'd be great to get more people into cloth, and it can get really addictive. If you find it works for you, it gets addictive when you start seeing all these pretty prints. And again, this is another pocket nappy that is with poppers instead so you will get quite I prefer poppers because you can not only are they the baby can't take them off but you can also get really good customizable fit now this material inside here is actually bamboo and um, this is a cheapy Alva baby brand and Alva baby is a quite a cheap cheapy China brand and you can pick these up in a variety of different places sometimes um, sellers kind of rename them with their own name but they typically look like this the same sort of shape same sort of tab so the next type of system that there is are these and these are all in one nappies this is by the brand Bambino Mio and recently Aldi had their baby events and so did Asda and these were on sale and they had they brought out loads of beautiful they brought out lots of beautiful prints and yeah you could pick them up at a really good price it's like a pocket different brands have all-in-ones kind of done in different ways but it's basically where the nappy and the absorbency is all in one so you don't have to worry about doing any kind of fancy stuffing although in this instant you kind of do because you still have to stuff it inside but it's all connected um, it's all um, all in one basically and some of them are just very thick in their padding and their absorbency so you just might need to kind of leave them to dry a bit longer um, that might be a bit of an issue as they do take a little bit longer to dry but other than that they're really good great for caregivers and, and things again it's got a lovely fleece kind of absorbency to keep your baby dry but me personally would want to have some kind of extra protection on there to stop any staining if you do get staining on your nappies by the way the sun makes the most amazing bleach it just stick them out in the bright sunshine and I can guarantee any of those stains will be gone. This is Birth to Potty. Um, again, you can get sized ones, you can get um, different types, whatever suits you and your baby. And um, this one is Velcro, but again, you can also get poppers all in one. So these are really good for babysitters, nurseries, that kind of thing, or for people who are just generally really, really busy. This is the next um, type of wrap, and this is a brand, and this is Bum Genius, and this is called the Bum Genius Flip. So the flip system is another type of system known as a hybrid system. And again, there's different types of hybrids. There's G nappies, there's a few different others. It's where you again have a wrap and a booster. So they have daytime inserts, which I don't have, but basically it just looks like a, it just looks like an insert like this, but slightly bigger and it's all microfiber and you just lay it into the nappy and change that as you go. 
they work for some people they didn't work for us again it's all about trying different ones so this is the nighttime booster but we use this for daytime like so and that's kind of how you would fit it onto your baby and a bit like i've said before you just take this insert out each time you change your baby and keep the wrap just wipe it down unless it's soiled so these are really good for people who just don't want to be stuffing and who can't bother to do any folding this system works really well what makes it a hybrid is that you can also turn it into disposable so we have these disposable organic biodegradable inserts these are really good if you're camping or you're just going on holiday or something and you still want to use something organic and biodegradable and be good to the environment you can just lay these in or if you're just going out some people might not want to take cloth um, you can just lay those in like so and then you just throw this away when you're done with it The only thing I don't like about flip is that with all the flip wraps I found that the leg gussets sometimes get a little bit wet and the um, elastics the same now this is just because of the way it's stitched over um, I've explored this with lots of people and they've all said the same thing so it's just one of those you know just make sure you change your baby regularly but um flip flip is a really good system it's a very popular system the tabs are quite stretchy as well so if you've got a slightly chubby bigger baby you know that you'll get a good fit can't resist but show you this you know you can get custom nappies yes there are ladies out there who make or met there are people out there who make custom nappies this is a custom um 53 nappy that I'm gonna miss this is going as well but I absolutely love this nappy um, I, I think the PUL on this is gone if you have problems with the what the absorbency inside you'll be able to see it starts to delaminate it but I'm sure somebody said if you put them in the tumble dryer it can repair them I've not tried it with this yet but don't forget as well pocket um, covers can be used as wraps so moving on to nighttime cloth now um, I have done a video on nighttime cloth and I'll leave it down below but that was when Sebastian was an incredibly heavy wetter so his nappy did look humongous and that's just kind of he slept fine with it on but um because he was so heavy we needed to boost it ridiculously um some people may not have to worry too much about that the best type of nappy that you want to get at night time really is a fitted nappy and you'll probably want to boost it quite a bit you know if you're going to be if you've got a baby that sleeps through the night or if you've got a particularly heavy wetter in fact some people even put a booster on top <laughs> like so between the nappy and the wrap and you can use a normal kind of ordinary wrap um, at night time but my opinion the best type of thing to use are coveralls now these two are fleece these are, this is a pumpkin pant size large and this is a top spots i believe this is a size three so this is oh no sorry size two so this is a nice large good for a toddler um nappy so these like i said these are both fleece and fleece are really good and the way it works is i know it seems to have to put a fit it this on top of a fitted nappy but the way it works is that fleece is just like i said very stay dry and the moisture actually evaporates out of this wrap so as long as you've got no kind of um baby vest kind of tight or anything that's going to kind of compress the nappy or make it wick away then you'll wake up in the morning and you'll find your baby is um you know still dry to the touch the other thing that i have here is wool now a bit like this works in the same way that sheeps does it's just very water repellent so these are called wool wool longies and i don't know if you can see it's like a um i need to dust them down this problem with wool is it collects all the bits that's the only thing um I don't know if you can see it's like that merino wool felted wool and this one's like by, by make uh, work at home mum she's just you know lots you can get loads of different designs out there again you put the nappy on the baby and then you put the wool cover on top wool is even better because there's less stinks and stains and you don't even need to wash this you can wash it once a week you just leave it in the, on the air on the line to dry and it will dry or just it I don't know I don't know how it's kind of some crazy magic sorcery but you put it on the line after your baby's been in it all night with a wet nappy it smells fine <laughs> I don't know how it works but I know that the moisture evaporates out and just it just wicks away the moisture I guess also very breathable um, and much more kind of a much more healthier option than the fleece fleece is obviously a man-made fiber and wool isn't i really recommend nighttime cloth for babies or so for babies for children who are potty training or who are maybe wearing a potty uh, nappy at night 
but they're kind of only wetting the occasional one or two and it just saves so much money because you'll probably find that you're putting your child in a nappy they're going to bed they're not kind of actually using the nappy and then you still have to throw it away the next day so this is a really great alternative to that if they're happy to wear them okay so now i'm going to talk about inserts um, and boosters again any boosters like this you can buy just to kind of boost your absor absorbency so it could be to boost pocket nappies that need more absorbency to boost um your fitteds like i said just to boost them um yeah basically they are just boosters that are really really good just to get that little bit of extra absorbency and you can get these in different materials in cotton in bamboo in hemp and um i like bamboo and hemp these are the only two that i've got and zorb again this material that i've never heard of but Everyone talks about Zorb and how absorbent it is. Liners, the most common type of liner that you'll get is fleece. Um, these are really pretty fleece liners. Just buy a fleece blanket and cut it into shapes. I needed quite nice long ones. I wanted to make sure the whole nappy was covered. Um, and this is kind of what I tend to use. If your baby is breastfed, then you, up until six months, up until they're weaning, you can just put that um, nappy, dirty nappy in a wet bag and put it straight in the wash. You don't have to do any rinsing or, or any, um, you don't have to line it or flushing any poo or anything like that. You can just go in the wash, it's water soluble. Again, you can do this with formula. There's a big debate out there it's fine you can do it with formula fed poo unless it's particularly hard and lumpy or something then obviously you'd want to chuck it but if it's pretty runny and normal kind of newborn then it'll be fine once they start weaning this is when it gets a bit difficult it's going to change its consistency especially in the early days and you're going to want to line your nappies then that poo can't go in the washing machine it's a misconception that we can put these biodegradable flushable liners down our toilet systems here in the uk and in my last video that i did i did say that you could because i thought we could but you can't this these will block your drain a bit like wipes over time you're going to end up with dino rod out trying to you know and a hefty bill so don't put these down your toilet what you want to do is basically just take your liner and plop it down the loo i have a shower head that i use and i put it on the jet setting and i just spray it or you can hold it and dunk it in the toilet and flush it flush the toilet now in america they have the spray jet things that you can spray um and they plummet to the toilet um apparently in the uk it's illegal to do that um because our plumbing systems aren't done correctly and i don't know it's illegal to do that apparently but like there's no police that's gonna come around and be like you're breaking the law with your nappy sprayer so you know i know that no maddy daddy did it so there's no reason why you guys can't do it too but yeah you can just use a shower head and just spray spray the poo off the liner it's really really straightforward and they don't poo every i mean well they might do but my baby doesn't poo every single change he poos maybe once twice a day so after a while they are only going to poo they'll poo very infrequently you won't worry too much about um but when you're out and about you may want to use this i guess the plumbing systems in bigger places shopping miles things like that probably can tolerate this being flushed down the loo it's just our home systems can't what else i think that's nearly it i just quickly show you wet bag you will need a wet bag and this is just basically a waterproof bag that you can take out with you um and I actually have a very large wet bag with an, el an elastic around it that I put my nappies in. You get actual nappy bins, but what I tend to use is just a normal flip top flip bin lid and I put it over like a bin liner with the lid on top. You want to make sure air gets in it so that it's kind of not building up any stinks or stains. That's it for this cloth nappy video and um, if there's any more you want me to do then I will upon request but I'm probably not going to go out of my way and make any more as such. I will leave all my old links down below on how to fit a nappy, get a good fit, all the different types of systems, washing nappies. Um, my washing nappy is washing nappies video is still up to date bar the bit about the flushing the liners down the toilet so have a look at that if you want to know how to wash them and i guess i will see you guys soon bye